Hey, this is Josh, and welcome to Brass Thrills. <laughs> It's pretty simple to put together. We basically have two main parts, the uh, slide and the uh, other section, the horn, the actual bell of the horn. Basically to put together, you'll see that there is like a threaded part here as well as a uh, other end here. You just stick it on, holding it like so, and you just twist it on until it's pretty tight because you don't want it to be able to move back and forth. And then lastly, you take your mouthpiece, stick it in, Good to go. This next part we're going to talk about how to clean the inside and the outside of the instrument. It can be just as simple as taking a simple polishing cloth and wiping it down when you're done playing. This should be done at the end of every time you play so that the oils that come off your hand on your finger don't ruin the lacquer on the instrument. Um, there are more complicated ways you can clean the outside of your trombone like giving it a simple bath but basically for this brass skills class we're just going to be focusing on cleaning outside the instrument with the cloth. The next way to clean the inside of the instrument is you use a simple snake. It's called a trombone snake. It's used to go in the instrument um, and it just gets all of the stuff and the buildup from things that come out of your mouth um, in the slide. You can see a picture of that here. The next thing we're going to talk about is, oh, is um, <laughs> oiling the slide. Um, as a trombone player, the slide needs to move as fast as possible because you don't have uh, valves to press down. You just rely on your instrument to, uh, or the slide, however, to move as fast as possible so you can play as accurate, accurately as possible. Um, basically, there's three different types of ways to lubricate a slide. There's slide creams, there's slide oils, and there's a mixture of both. Um, whatever works best for, on your instrument is what you'll have to learn over time. On this one, I use slide oil because it's just a matter of applying a few drops on each side and working the slide back and forth like this and the whole thing ends up being fine for what I do with the trombone. Um, there are other systems where you can add oil as well as a dab of cream, work it into the slide and then use a spray bottle of water. This works well for many upper level players but depending on what works best for you and your instrument and the type of music you're playing is what you'll need to experiment on to get the best lightning fast slide. One of the most prob uh, common problems among brass players is getting a mouthpiece stuck. If you saw at the beginning of the video I went like that, that is bad. You never ever want to do that. That can cause mouthpiece to get wedged in there. Um, mouthpieces are conical, meaning that they are not the same distance or the same circumference the whole um, length of this. It is. It gets smaller as it goes. Because of this, twisting your mouthpiece to get it out or using like a, a pair of pliers is very, very bad. That can damage the bore and that can damage, which can also damage um, the tuning of your instrument and the airstream and cause a lot of bad problems. Um, if you check the link at the bottom of this video, it's a link to go to the Bobcat. Um, they make a mouthpiece pulling um, device. And it, um, in a sense, it's just a, me uh, a me the means of uh, a clamp that a applies uh, equal pressure on all sides of the mouthpiece as well as on the trombone slide and you ba it basically has two sets of uh, uh, like things you can turn and it pulls it out straight instead of at an angle that way it doesn't damage the slide portion of your trombone or the mouthpiece chamber and that's how you get off a mouthpiece make sure to check out the link at the bottom as well as the picture alright so the next thing we're going to talk about is chewing a mouthpiece um, if you look at this mouthpiece up close, it is not exactly circular. One of the sides is kind of like messed up in a sense that it is not perfectly circular. Um, if you check out this picture, it's called a mouthpiece truer. That's the kind of device we're going to use. And uh, basically, when using this device, make sure to put a little bit of lubrication on it so it doesn't get stuck. Basically, the more you stick it in, um, the straighter it becomes until you get it to where it's going to be completely straight. And uh, by doing that, that is how you true mouthpiece. So definitely check out the link below as well as check out the picture. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, the stopper. It is used so you can rest the trombone on the ground. In this situation, you can see, you'll get up close, someone stopped it up too much. It, this is bad. Um, this is not something you can fix at home or that uh, a parent can fix. This is definitely something you need to take to a repairman 
Um, I guess the whole lesson with this whole thing is when in doubt, don't have your parents do it. Don't have, don't try to do something yourself. Take it to the repairman. Take it to your local music shop guy. Um, another thing to talk about is uh, the uh, spring down here that holds, um, that forces this spit, uh, this thing that releases the spit out. It forces it closed. A lot of times this can become loose and that'll make it so that the alignment um, will not be right. And when you play the trombone, it'll let air out so you won't be getting the sound you're looking for. This is a simple fix. All you do is get a small Phillips head screwdriver and merely tighten it. By doing that, you will be able to make the sound you want and it will not let air come out while you play. Along the lines with spit valves, you see there is a cork at the end of the spit valve that acts as a seal to let no air escape. This is something that should be replaced every year because if the appropriate seal is not happening, then you will not be able to play your instrument um, like if you had a good seal. So always check that. That's something your repairman can do. Um, but that's a crucial element of playing the trombone. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, the trombone bell. You see this trombone bell? Woo, it's pretty. It's beautiful. No problems. However, if the trombone has a dent in the bell, that's something for your local repairman. What he'll basically do, he has a rounded anvil. He'll hold the bell over the anvil anvil and he'll literally pound it out until it's smooth. Um, that's not something you should do at home. That's not something you should have your dad do with a hammer in the garage and the vice grips. That's that's a bad thing. But definitely take it to your local repairman and he will uh, straighten it out. Um, the last part of this video is dealing with taking the trombone apart, disassembling the trombone. Um, it's as simple as taking the mouthpiece out. All you're going to want to do is twist, pull. Not a big deal. Um, when you're pulling it out, make sure to pull it out straight while you're twisting so you don't bend the bell or bend the slide part of the trombone as well as the end, other end of the mouthpiece. Um, from there, you just have two more parts to disassemble. Take this, uh, this right here, loosen it all the way so it comes off the threads and merely twist it and boom, there you go. Disassembled trombone, ready to go in the case. Um, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Brass Thrills and I'll see you in class. Thank <laughs> you.